morning ladies and gentlemen esteemed guests and dear friends welcome to our event on nurturing self confidence and purpose i am thrilled to see so many of you gathered here today eager to embark on a new journey of self discovery and personal growth in closing i would like to express my deepest gratitude to andrea stadholder thank you and enjoy the event hello andrea how are you and what are you doing today <laughs> hello well i have a lot of have, uh, speaking events today so this is my first <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so let's start okay so how do you find your purpose i would like to say find yourself first what do i mean by that that i mean by that become aware of yourself become aware of your good parts the good side the flaws and the shadow sides and how do you do that sit down and start thinking about your values what is important for you in life write it down write it down and then it may be honesty it may be authenticity it may be uh becoming um famous or i don't know something you really need for yourself write it down and then think about the one sentence and you may write it down somewhere and it says you will never rise above the opinion of yourself so always keep this in mind be kind to yourself forget about the negative thoughts have positive thoughts thoughts about yourself start writing down what is important for you what is it that is keeping you stuck your limiting belief will lead you to exactly your limiting beliefs and we tend to complain about things around us you know things like oh i wish i had uh, this or that and i wished i would lead this sort of life like that person and you know these complaints they are the glue for you to keep being stuck yeah give up on looking at others just look at yourself work with yourself and start loving yourself grow grow every day become the better version of yourself as soon as you have found the awareness of yourself the things you you like you love about you the things you don't like about yourself because they we all have flaws yes the one thing is you need to accept yourself as you are it's as simple as that and once you have this accomplished you will see mel robin says go in front of the mirror every morning high five yourself and say i am good enough i am lovable i am beautiful i am a nice person i am whatever you want to fill in high five yourself and start your day like that and don't forget to smile at yourself what do you say sukana are you happy with this one <laughs> yeah i'm happy with this and i'm strongly agree that we should look at our confidence we should look at our positivities and yes. then we can reach to our aim because we everyone have different kind of goals so if we have lack of confidence we can't success those goals <laughs> we have to work every day we have to grow for each moment i am the best i am the best and i am the best the yeah best. write down your goal that is also important eh? don't have it don't keep it in your mind put it on paper as soon as it becomes as you put it on paper it becomes a reality and then work for it slowly you don't need to hurry rome wasn't built overnight either and when you make a mistake say thank you thank you for letting me ha having the this um, experience this is all what it is we cannot be perfect nobody is perfect even nature is not always perfect write down your values what is your core values what is it which that will make your life better 
Exactly, and Andrea. So the question is, how can you identify and leverage your strengths to boost self-confidence and achieve your goals? How you can boost your self-confidence? That's a very good one. You see... Um, Care, take, start taking care of your body and your mind. How do we become more confident? There's one thing, exercise. Exercise is giving you um, the power to feel your body, to know and see what, what is it you like about yourself. If you think your, your legs are not strong enough, do some, ex some exercise to make them strong so that it gives you the good, the feeling, the good feeling about yourself and the healthy feeling about yourself. I get up in the morning and I say, thank you for waking up again. Exactly, Andrea. Uh, okay. How can you build a supportive network of peers and mentors to help you stay focused on your goals and maintain the self-confidence? If you please tell, mention five points on this. Yes. Uh, first of all, again, your values. You will know what you want for yourself. If you don't have, um, I would always advise, of course, to um, to find a, a mentor. Yes, to do uh, to do a little bit of a program with a coach to uh, know exactly where you want to be and then manifest it for yourself. If you do not have the sources of uh, getting a coach, go online. There are enough people online. Um, Tony Robbins, Peter Sage, me, <laughs> no, joking, Zen, Zen Coach, and follow them. And when you follow them, you can try to, um, there, there are groups on, on, on Facebook. You can enter these groups. I'm also, for example, Jay, if you are young, Jay Shetty is the one to, um, to become a genius member. And he offers... Uh, a few times a year, he offers um, low um, low budget uh, entrance into his genius family, and he gives um, on Facebook every Sunday a live uh, meditation and Q and A, and he has a, he has a, a theme for a month. Follow him, do that, and this is how you will get to know other people because there are other people in this group of course young people from all over the world and they have meetings and this is how you start building uh, surrounding yourself with the people who will lift you up and not bring you down that is very important make sure that you surround yourself with people who are so content with themselves that they the only thing they want is for you to succeed. Exactly, Andrea. Life is like a content. We have to develop it each moment. We yeah. have to struggle, we have to develop, and then we can grow and we can find the best version of ourselves. Even I am also doing this. <laughs> yeah. Is it correct? Do you feel not wanted? Is that what you were saying? And then you just go deeper into, into the conversation and they will come to the conclusion. Nobody ever said to them that they weren't wanted. Yeah? It's just exactly. a thought instead. In, in what ways can you practice self-compassion and self-care to nurture your self-purpose and self-confidence? Well, as I just as I just mentioned, start with um Start with writing, uh, journaling. What is it? Um, what is it uh, which is that is keeping you bu busy? What is what's on your mind? Start journaling um, the things um, you are grateful for. Start with uh, little things like um, I'm grateful for my eyes because I can read a book. I am grateful for my feet. It makes me walk to my, uh, may, they help me walking to, through, through my life. I am uh, grateful for my hands because they help me eat and write. I am grateful for uh, my ears because I can hear what my friends and my family is saying. Self-confidence is the crucial tool for our life and live the life to the fullest. 
and the self confidence can take you to the next level so what are you waiting for so here we end and follow iswage indian school of ethical hacking kolkata follow iswage thank you and your stayholder to join this event today thank you thank you so much and audience here we end here we went bye bye see you soon